before I start today's Dolphin Emulator and how to install the Homebrew channel, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too, for which I'm really appreciative of. So we're not actually looking at in-depth Dolphin Emulator Wii setup guide today. If that's what you're after and you're looking to set up controllers to emulate Nunchuck in Wiimote, I'll leave the link in my description for a setup guide for that one. But today we're exclusively focusing on treating this like a real physical Wii. So we're gonna be using the open homebrew channel for this and the latest stable release of Dolphin, which I've already downloaded. So to do this, we're gonna open up dolphin.exe as you can see, next to my Dolphin folder, I've got a WAD file for the Open Homebrew Channel 1.1.5. So what we're going to do then inside of Dolphin, install the Wii menu through Dolphin. So to do this, we're going to go to Tools. And if we then go down to Perform Online System Update, I'm going to select Europe for this. Connect to the internet and perform an online system update, yes. And we're just going to wait for this one to update. Okay, so once that's been finished, we're going to see a little pop-up. The emulated Wii console has been updated. If we just OK this, next thing we're going to want to do is go back up to Tools and then just go down to Load Wii System Menu 4.3e. Okay, so we're now on the setup screen for what Dolphin believes to be a real Wii. How cool is this? What we're going to do is just go through this process. And like I say, if you want a full setup guide for configuring controllers to use with Dolphin Emulator, I'll leave the link in my description so you can check that one out. Okay, so we're now inside of the Wii system menu, as you can see. So now we've got this set up, what we're going to do is just close out of here. So do you want to stop the current emulation? Yes. And this time I'm going to install the homebrew channel. So once we've got Dolphin open again, what we're going to do is go back up to the tools option and down to install WAD. And what I'm going to do now is just go to desktop and select my homebrew channel .wad. So like I say, this is on my desktop. So if I double left click here, successfully install this title to the NAND. So if we press OK, and we're going to test this out. So we're going to go back up the tools and load Wii system menu. And here we go, we can now see the homebrew channel, which is in my Wii menu. And should you get, do you want to allow public and private networks to access this app? Just press allow on this. And that's it, but of course the homebrew channel is actually empty at the moment, but we can add apps to this. So if we just close again outside of the homebrew channel, as well as Dolphin, Okie doke, so next thing we're going to need to do then is actually install the Homebrew Browser. So if you're new to this type of thing, then we've got Homebrew Channel set up, but we also need to install an app to actually browse apps. So essentially, we're possibly going to be able to run emulators within Dolphin Emulator. So what we're going to do to install the Homebrew Browser is first of all, unzip the Homebrew Browser.zip. So if we just go to open this zip folder, what I'm going to do is just extract the apps and the homebrew browser guide outside. We can then delete the homebrew browser.zip. Now I'm going to go up to the config button just here. And if I go over to the Wii tab, I'm going to go down to automatically sync with folder. Just make sure that one's checked. And SD card file size, if we drop this down, you can put it to how high you want, really. It's entirely up to you, but I'm going to leave this to auto, and that should work fine. What we're going to do next is just double left click on the SD sync folder so it's highlighted. And if I go to copy that location, I'm then going to open up a Windows Explorer. And from here, in the search bar at the top, I'm going to just paste in what I've just copied. And if I press enter to open this, next thing I'm going to do is just minimize that window. Now the apps folder, which inside should have homebrew underscore browser, I'm going to just drag and drop this inside of that folder. Now, if you take a look at my search bar at the top, this is how you should have yours at this point. So what we're going to do next then is just close down out of settings and we're going to open up the homebrew channel again. So to do this, just go to tools, load Wii system menu.
And here we go, we've now got the homebrew browser. So if I just open this one, and we're gonna go down to load. And we're just gonna wait for this to do its thing. And here we go, we're now inside of the homebrew browser, just like on a real Wii. So what can you do inside of the homebrew browser? You can download emulators. If we just go to the emulators tab, we can download uh, the SNES 9GX emulator. Just uh, press the A button on this in download. And if I press B to come out, uh, we can also download things like the FCE Ultra GX Nintendo NES emulator. So many different emulators inside of the homebrew browser you can actually download. Uh, if we go to the demos tab at the top just here, we can download various different demos. And to be honest with you, I've not used the homebrew browser for such a long time. I don't know what's good and what's not, but it's worth playing around with. We also got free games just here. And if we go to the media tab, we'll have lots of different media apps, such as media players and even internet radio. And under utilities, we're going to have utilities. So lots of things to do and play with just there. And to view your installed apps, if we just go up to the top just there, view installed apps. Here is the two emulators that I've just downloaded. So if we open up SNES GX, we can delete it from NANS just there. Okay, so I've just closed down Dolphin. So we're gonna look at adding some games to emulate through the emulator itself. So to do this, we're gonna go back to config and back to the Wii tab. And we need to go back to the SD sync folder. So again, if I double left click on this one and copy that location, if I open up a browser again and paste in that location, this is gonna bring us back to the apps folder. I've then got my two emulators that I've downloaded. So we got says 9GX and we also got FCEUGX. We got the homebrew browser. So what I'm gonna do is just create a new folder in here. So right click new folder and I'm gonna just call this folder SNES games. Inside of my SNES games folder, I'm gonna drag and drop Sydney Hunter, which if you're interested in a full, almost full gameplay of this one, I uploaded a guide for that yesterday. So we've now got a folder with some SNES games or a SNES game. So if we load back up the Wii system menu, And here we go. So when we boot back up again, we can now see both of these emulators. So if we go to SNES GX and load. Here we go then. So this is the emulator itself and we're gonna open up a game. So we got two folders just here. If we go to up one level and go into apps, SNES games, here is my Sydney Hunter game. If I open this one, So we now have officially got a SNES game being emulated through Dolphin Emulator. And at any point, if you are exit that emulator, I'm holding down my Xbox button for this. And from here, we can go back to main menu and OK. And this is going to bring us back. So we can exit from here. And do you want to stop the current emulation? Yes. OK, so let's just pretend you want to install additional apps such as games. So very easy to do this. All we need to do is just go back up the tools install wad and as we can see on my desktop i've got wave race this is a dot wad if we go to desktop then and scroll down we're going to find wave race here if i double left click successfully installed this title to the nand if we press ok and again we're going to open up the system menu
And here we go, we've now got Wave Race. And that's it for today's Dolphin and Homebrew Channel setup, guys. So I just had to get this out there. This is super cool, especially if you're like me and you like experimenting with things. It's very cool to emulate different platforms with an emulator itself. Anyways, check out my Wii setup, guys, which will take you through controls, that type of thing. If you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you get notified every time I release a new setup guide, and it really helps out my channel too also join me on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro